31st Sunday in Ordinary Time Reflection Spiritual Dichotonomy You become a paradox the, You create a gap between what you say and what you do What you think and what you say That dichotonomy, that paradox Is, is created with fear You are scared to deal with the truth So that's exactly why you hide the truth The reason why that the Malachi, Prophet Malachi writing, Malachi means messenger. He writes the Zeiss is re writing in 450 BC before Christ. <coughs> this, this is after Babylonian exile, my dear friends. So now they had the religious freedom to offer sacrifices in, the, in their temple. But then Jerusalem, but then what happened? People started cheating, misused their liturgy of a tree. So they gave not the best. They simply gave whatever they want for the sake of giving, as if God wants what they give. No. You read Genesis chapter 4 verse 4. God accepted Abel and also the offer tree. Of a tree and you yourself become one. It shows your attitude. Now, it's not the offer tree that they offered is not proper. They didn't give the best, the first and the best place to the Lord. So what? God wants you, not what you give. So that's exactly why this spiritual dichotomy was created. So you and your offer tree becomes two. So he's, he's challenging all the priests that you don't do, observe what you preach, follow what you preach. It does not mean that we all, we don't have any problem. No, there is, there is always spiritual gap. Always. So we, are, we, we, are, we cannot completely <coughs> follow what we say. But then, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> but then, at least a struggle is valued by the Lord other than justifying and covering things up. So that's, that's, that's the very reason the Lord is accusing the priests. So they, they, they become, their life becomes a paradox. So exactly that the same allegation is brought for all the Pharisees and Sadducees. They, Pharisees, which means they are, the, they are separated ones. They, are, they, of course, they of course completely followed the law, the Mosaic law. So one, what happened here? The Lord is saying that you, that you, the Lord is saying the people and the disciples, you, you follow what they say, but they don't do what they do. So what they do and what they say is completely different. You don't support what you say. So what you say won't be effective. It can happen, my dear friends. So why you, why you are not saying what is truth? Why you can't do that? Because you create a gap. Because you're scared. They always think about what, think about what others think about himself. But I, what I am is what others think about me. So I begin to please people. Always, always focus on the things that I do externally. They forget the inner relationship, my dear friends. That you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. God dwells within your heart. Matthew chapter 5, you read the true discipleship. That when you, when you truly give something, give in secret, when you pray, go into our inner chamber and pray. Because the one who sees you in secret. So that's the, that, that applies for all the fasting and all the mortification. So exactly now it's time. Now it's time that you, that you realize it. So you don't have to be scared at all. You don't have to be scared at all. Why you cover your scan? So once you deal with your fear, 
what others think about me won't won't be effective at all because what god thinks about me jesus submerging himself in the waters of jordan whose heavens were open and said you are my beloved son that's the inner voice so that with that inner voice you're worried not about external things but then internal things your connection what's happening within you my dear friends so that's exactly where where the lord is directing you so the moment you deal with yourself deal with your truth you don't have anything to cover then you are free the more you hide more you suffer it will begin to fester a festering wound inside of yourself so that's exactly why the lord is saying problem lies there problem where you where you want to exalt yourself those who are exalted will be diminished lowered if you lower yourself you will be esteemed it does not mean that you lower or humble yourself in search of in search of a proper position no because you you just want to let go you you sit at the feet of the lord the lord will take you raise you up like jesus philippians chapter 2 verse 6 jesus left everything and followed the lord and followed left everything and took up the cross and died for you and for me that is true love so when the moment you realize the moment you realize that that i am loved i don't have to cover i don't have to cover so what happened what happened when you when when uh, saint paul paul became saul became paul with a fault he's a pharisee the student of gamaliel a huge uh, uh, a very studious character influential character but then he was put to down he was thrown out thrown off on the house back and he was broken now in the second reading beautifully he says to lesser letter to thessalonians that i i like i i like a mother nursing mother taking care of her own children i took care of you all like a mother what a what a softness of a mother so that's how st paul st paul deals with that gospel says don't call anyone father it does not mean that we are we we just simply literally don't call them father no that that paul the the in the first reading the people the very people who never supported the people to follow the law even the pharisees and sadducees they never supported the people helped the people so rather rather they they they, they became a burden when comes to saint paul he says i have never became a burden rather i have given you comfort i have supported you to take up the cross and follow that's our calling that's our real true deep calling my dear friends so identify yourself as a unique person identify yourself as as a person who is accepted by the lord that i am precious all the time so the once you are precious everything will follow once you are precious because you are precious so then you don't have to maintain others what others think about me no because you are inside inside of you you are connected you are filled that's the very reason for your living my dear friends that's how the lord directs you so that's why the lord is breaking all the taboos clearing themselves that you should be loved first if you want to love think about it and have a nice sunday amen may god bless you